Hey guys, today we are in Sevierville, Tennessee at the Apple Barn in front of the Applewood Farmhouse Grill. Now we picked this one for two reasons. One, it's rated one place higher on TripAdvisor than the other Apple Barn restaurant. And two, we've heard it's not as busy. It's easier to get into because this is a hard place to come into. It is always packed, which is a good sign. So we're about ready to head in there and check this place out, and you guys are coming with us. So are you ready, Bobby? I'm ready. Let's rock and roll. Let's rock and roll. Let's check out the lunch menu here at the Applewood Farmhouse Grill. First thing they do, they bring you the fritters, the Applewood julep, and some homemade farmhouse soup. And there's what I got, the trio. Let's just check this menu out. Got some southern fried chicken, chicken and dumplings, Nashville hot chicken, beef liver and onions, meatloaf, Chicken tenders, chicken cordon bleu. Let's go up here. There's what Bobby got. Barbecue bacon and cheddar chicken. That looks pretty good. You can add a salad for $3.49. You got your applewood julep grilled chicken, pork chops, brown steak, ham, ribs. There's your kids menu. Over here are all the different sides you can get. Now let's flip this over. Let's go with the vegetables and fixings. Get some Alfredo pasta, chicken salad, veggie platter, chicken pot pie, cornbread, homemade dressings. We have some sandwiches, pecan chicken salad, croissant, steak burger, Double Decker BLT, crispy chicken with cold slaw. And there are all the drinks. And we got a nice little booth back here in the corner. Here's where we're kind of sitting back in here. First thing they brought out was some apple fritters. Looks almost like uh, something sweet, like a dessert with that powdered sugar on there. And homemade apple butter. There you go, Bobby. Nice and warm. Let's cut into that. Let's see the insides of it. Looks like a hush puppy, but we know that's not what it yeah, is. An apple fritter is basically what a donut, a fried donut. Yeah, with some apples in it. That's good. Sweet. The apple butter. Excellent. How's it taste without the apple butter though? Take a little bite without the apple butter. It's got like an apple flavor to it, I think. It's warm, like I said, it's fresh. It looks pretty tasty. Here we go. I'm going for the one with all the powdered sugar on it. I didn't see that one. <laughs> oh, that was in that corner there hiding oh. from you. It was hiding. No apple butter, I tried myself. Yeah, it doesn't really need the apple butter, but it is good. It is good. Got the taste of the apple in there. Definitely warm. A little crispy on the outside. Let's just dip it. Let's just dip it. Dip it. Dip. Now I like apple butter, but you know what apple butter I like? It's the old school. Grandmother used to make it with red hots in it. Cinnamon apple oh, butter. Oh yeah. That was the way to go. Here's that one. It's good apple butter. So, I like it with the apple butter better. It's good either way. Now, also, they brought us this julep. 
And it's called the Applewood Julep. It's pineapple, apple juice, lemon juice, and orange juice. Here we go. That is a great combination. I can't tell which one really overpowers the other one. Let me try one more time. It mixes well. I mean, I can taste the orange juice almost more than anything in there, but I love pineapple, so you can definitely taste the pineapple juice. Well, they brought us out some soup also. They'll give you too much food here, I think. <laughs> they do give you a lot. Um, and I've been wanting vegetable soup, so I got that. It's actually a hot day today for soup. The other day, it really would have been good when it was cold, but There's a lot of different vegetables in there. Vegetables, tomatoes. I see some carrots and peas. It's a tomato, you know, tomato-based sauce. It's hot. Lots of vegetables. I like that. I decided on the potato soup, and I thought this was a side, but this comes with your two sides. You get three sides. There you go. It's thick. I'll see a lot of potatoes in it. There's have one some potato. cheese in there. So yeah, some like. cheese on top. It's really thick, but there's not a lot of, of potatoes themselves in there. That's good because you got I'm mashed potatoes. Need them all. I got mashed potatoes <laughs> to go with it. So, let's try. That is excellent. I mean, I don't eat a lot of potato soup, so I'm not an expert on it, but. That tastes, that tastes great. I, mean, I, like, I like it. It's going to fill me up because it's thick. The thing about this, it's a perfect size. If that was any bigger, I wouldn't be able to finish this meal. Yeah. I don't think I'm going to finish this meal anyway. Yeah, because that is a uh, nice little starter size. It is. And then we also have these apple fritters to eat with them. So if we don't eat all of those, I think we'll be okay. Yeah. Well, guys, let's check out this place from the back. Nice little Christmas tree back here. There's fireplace going. That is pretty. We got more seating up through here. Let's just take a quick look. Right there. Also have a display case with some birds from Parrot Mountain. There's more seating out this way. Came out into the hallway. This little area is called the pantry. It's like there's more birds back here. And more seating back this way. Now let's go towards the front. And river view room. More seating in here. So there is a lot of seating in this place. Just brought the food to the table. Let's check out mine. Big old piece of chicken. Chicken pot pie. Chicken and dumplings. <laughs> Got some Alfredo here and mashed potatoes. Now mine was a dollar more than Bobby's. Who do you think got the better deal? Look at that, there's Bobby's. There's mine. Let's go check out hers. Got some green beans. What is that? Sweet potato casserole. Sweet potato casserole. And your barbecue bacon chicken. It's not a real big piece. Okay, so I'm going to try the sweet potato casserole first because I love sweet potatoes. You taste the brown sugar, butter but it's not too sweet. Some green beans. It's good. I think we got some, maybe some onions in there. Oh, there's some ham. Some ham in there? A little bit. Let's it's see got the it. flavor. Let's see this. Meal. These tables are so far apart, I can barely get to you. There you go. There's the chicken. Okay, try the chicken. So Things good, yep. Thanks. Now I was going to get the meatloaf, 
and I asked the waitress what she liked better, the meatloaf or the chicken, and she said this was her favorite. Yeah, that has onions so, and cheese and cheese bacon on it. And bacon. Barbecue. Let's take a look. Yeah, cheese. You can see it. It's tender. Is it tender? It's taking it tastes a look, guys. barbecue sauce. Bacon gave it some crunch. I know you said it's not real big. I think it's small, in my but opinion. For me, it's big enough, but probably if you were a man or a bigger eater, you could probably get this. But you already had uh, soup and yeah. you had some fritters, but to me, like I said, there's that one for $15.99, and there's this <laughs> for $1 more. But it is tender and it's uh, juicy. Let's, let's start off with a chicken pot pie, thick crust. Crust look good, Bobby. Oh, is that good? You can try. I'm, I'm gonna let Bobby try some of this too because she likes <laughs> this kind. That's a nice looking crust. Let's just open it up. Big old carrot. Oh, I know. somebody doesn't I'm like gonna carrots. I'm gonna save that carrot for Bobby. <laughs> I'm gonna save it. Look, here, look at all that in there. Got some potatoes in there. Big piece see, of chicken. Chicken. Definitely hot. That crust is nice and flaky. I mean, you guys can see it. A lot of potatoes in there. Let's try it one more time. Excellent. Chicken and dumplings. Look at that. Those dumplings in there. Now that is a big. Let me show you if I can get this out, guys. That is a big piece of chicken. Oh, wow, did you get any dumplings? <laughs> <laughs> that is a big piece of chicken in there. So I'm just gonna try, let me see if I can, I'm gonna try some of these dumplings in this broth. I'll have to cut that chicken up. Those are melting your mouth, which dumplings are, because they're just dough. If I can, without making a mess, I'm gonna have to take it. There we go. And get some of this off with the chicken. See, I'm not a fan of dumplings. Fill you up. Yeah, they do fill you up. I like that. Now, it's chicken. Let's just let's see how it is. Excuse my fingers. This is tearing apart. It's pretty good. I mean, it's not overly crisp. It's crispy, but not overly crisp. Pretty good size chicken breast there. Try it like that. Let's try it. Definitely juicy. I like the crust. Crispier than that. So it has a crunch. Just don't have a crunch, but it does taste good. This is good chicken. Man. Let's try some pasta. I need a couple of you guys out here to help me eat all this. You do, you have a lot of starches there. Holy cow. I was thinking them little tiny penny pasta. These are big. That's, that's warm, it's not hot, it's warm. Uh, cheese on there. It's, just, it's a good it's a good side. I probably should have got coleslaw with all this stuff. Yeah, you probably should have. I'm never gonna be able to eat it all. That, it looks creamy though. It is. Because I got mashed potatoes, I already had potato <laughs> soup. Try these mashed potatoes. Those are excellent too. It's just a great meal, guys. For $16.99. The thing is, if you don't live here, it's hard to take this stuff home with you. If you're local, man, this is the way to go. Come in here and get a couple of meals, and you can eat for a couple of days. Here's our bill at the Applewood Grill restaurant here at the Apple Barn. Bobby's was $15.99, mine was $16.99, for a grand total of $36.86. So after eating that big meal, we decided to walk around and do some shopping. And that was a big meal, so we'll go up here and check out a few items for you. Our first stop, Christmas. Bobby loves this store. Yeah, they have a 
lot of neat things in here. Let's go take a quick peek. these candles. I got the gel. Wow, that smells good. Granny Smith apple. A bunch of different flavors. Yeah. Pumpkin spice. Baked apple pie. Yeah, they look neat, don't they? They do. All kind of different ones in. A lot more candles in here. So when you come here to eat, you can just look for a lot of other different things too. Some stuff, some warmers. They're back here where they make them. There. So you can leave the candle in the Christmas shop and head over here to the winery. We have a creamery over there and candy apples. French toast soap. That's pretty neat. $9.99. Smells a little bit like cinnamon. So they have a lot of different things in here besides wine. There's their bottling. It says, come see it bottled. Yeah. They're not doing it right now. But while you're here, maybe someday you can check them out if you want to see it work. Well, we just entered the creamery. That's a neat little tree they have there. Let's just turn around and show you the whole creamery in here. Right there. We've had ice cream out here. It's good, isn't it, Bobby? Yeah, it's really good. It smells good in here, too. It does smell good in here. That baked goods over there. Let's go take a quick peek. Some other coffee cakes. Orange cranberry cake, and look right there. That's uh, our favorite. That's our favorite one, the blackberry cobbler bread. You can get it, uh, a little smaller one, and then some muffins. Apple cinnamon. There's the bakery. Candy shop in here. It's easy to pass that up after you eat that big meal. 240 to anything right now. It's a good time to come and look. It is. It's the best time to look. Hard cider house. Right in there. And what's this? The apple butter kitchen. Making some apple butter in there. There it is cooking. Apple Pie Kitchen. We've gotten the frozen cider in here. It's good. Yeah. Here are the hours posted. 9 to 5.30 Monday through Friday. 9 to 7 on Saturday. And 9 to 5.30 on Sunday. This is their main store.
So those fritters we got, you can get the mix right here. Apple pancake mix, some barbecue sauce, and applesauce, vinegar. What's this? Some apple salsa, apple pie, pickles. So if you have a kitchen that has apples in it, so you got your hand towels, pot holders. Let's put this on your table. A lot of stuff with apple theme in it. Back here is more apple theme items. And some more baked items in here. over here and check this out to fresh cider I do like the cider here 1098 for a gallon cherry apple cider that's probably my favorite of them and peach apple cider so apple butter and jellies and honey and molasses back in there and Hey, you see More bridge? cider. Come from that bar. And get you some apples. Here's the other restaurant on the premises. The Applewood Farmhouse Restaurant. This is the original one. So two choices to come to. Right now, there's hardly anybody out here. It's like around 3.30 on a Thursday. Well, we just got done exploring this whole apple barn complex and there is a lot to see here. What did you think about it, Bobby? There is a lot to see here and eat. We were asked to come here a few weeks ago, but it was so crowded, we can never get here at the right time. Now, today's Thursday. We came in at 2.30 and it was dying down wasn't it, it wasn't yeah. as busy good time um, our waitress was excellent she was very friendly told us a few things that that we had got and we'd asked her about the two different restaurants what was the difference she said this one was a three course meal mm -hmm. and that one was four three is plenty oh yeah you don't need any more than that my chicken was excellent i like the sweet potato casserole and all that was good, but my favorite part was that soup. I told you on a few weeks ago, I've been craving homemade vegetable soup. And everything is homemade here, so it's excellent. It was a great meal. Uh, I think I got too much. <laughs> I mean, I probably shouldn't have ordered uh, dumplings. Well, dumplings came with it. Dumplings, pot pie, and chicken. But I ordered pasta, and I got mashed potatoes. I should have got applesauce and coleslaw, because that really filled me up. But it was all good. I mean, the chicken was was good I like chicken sometimes a little more crisp but it was a good flavor uh, everything I mean I would come back and I'm gonna say it one more time for one more dollar guys get the trio look how much bigger that meal was and you definitely like Bobby said split it come out here and split it we thought you had to pay for a plate the waitress said no you do not but it would, be, it would pay you to get a side mm -hmm. and a soup for six dollars. Six dollars and just split one of those meals because there's plenty there for a, especially a lunch. That was our lunch and we're stuffed right now so I don't even think we'll be able to eat dinner. That means we can't bring you guys another video because of that. But at least we got this place done. So if you like this video, give us a thumbs up and subscribe. Yeah, so until we meet again, J&B have, have left the building. building.